His resignation came just months before end of the mayor's term. And as crime had become a major issue in mayoral race, Philadelphia the mayor's office announced on Tuesday that Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw has resigned and will be leaving for a new position later this month. Outlaw's last day in town will be September 22. She will later become Deputy Chief of Security for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. First Deputy John Stanford will serve as Philadelphia's interim police commissioner. His resignation came just months before the end of Mayor Jim Kenney's term. And homicide and other crime rates became a major issue in the race to replace him. Cherelle Parker, the Democrats' mayoral candidate, lost over questions about her police leadership plans during the campaign. Outlaw began her tenure as the first black woman to head the Philadelphia Police Department in February 2020. She came aboard just before end pandemic and had to quickly oversee city's security when massive protests erupted in Philadelphia and across country in summer of 2020 over police killings black people. Tensions between Philadelphia police and the public escalated after Floyd's in May 2020. The mostly peaceful protesters who blocked a major city highway were met with tear gas and rubber bullets. The city council issued a statement calling the police response brutal, extreme and unacceptable. But Outlaw initially defended this strategy. The city later paid $9.25 million in compensation to hundreds of protesters. Later that year, Walter Wallace Jr., who has history of mental illness and swings knife outside his home. The police were again scolded when young black man named young black man was shot dead seconds. After the police arrived on the scene, while Outlaw complained about the lack of mental health services, he promised the ministry would do better. And just last month, the department came head again when man who was killed by officer who stopped him for erratic. Driving had stepped back say that he had neither attacked police with knife nor got out of car due. Intervention. Authorities initially claimed this. The outlaw took action to fire the officer for disobedience and other alleged policy violations in. The August 14 death of Eddie Irizarry. Philadelphia has seen a sharp rise in homicides over the past few years. Breaking the current record with 562 homicides in 2021 that year. Murder cases decreased slightly in 2022, and advocates say they are on track to decline further this year. Outlaw said in a statement that he was grateful for his time in Philadelphia. It was my honor and privilege to serve during Mayor Kenney's administration and with every member of the Philadelphia Police Department, he said. Kenny praised the outlaw for its leadership. He did a great job during very difficult times. Said Kenny. He did a great job and made a lot of nice changes. We are on the right track in terms of S and gunfire. Vocally critique.